Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games coming at you with another really cool arcade game that we just uh, finished up. Thought we'd shoot a little video of because we know you guys really, guys and girls, really like uh, some of these unique games that we get in. This is William's famous Stargate. This was the sequel to Defender. Um, we got this in the other day. Somebody traded it in, and it's, uh, it's in pretty nice shape. We've worked on it pretty extensively, but... It cleaned up good and it's a nice original dedicated cabinet so we thought we would show it to you here's the side art these were painted they were stenciled um, which is really cool so they had like a red thing going on and it just said Stargate on the side Williams see the little dot there that's kind of like a copyright thing and on the other side I guess they couldn't really print it that well so on this side they have a little trademark sticker there and there's a little registered <laughs> sticker there and that's actually like a little decal I guess they couldn't really do it as a stencil so they printed little decals out that were supposed to be stuck on there but that's what this side looks like still in nice shape the cool thing about these Williams cabinets is their actual plywood a lot of the um, a lot of the games were uh, particle board and particle board whenever it gets wet, which inevitably these games do, uh, either by sitting in water or by getting rained on in the back of a truck. A lot of these games, a lot of people have a misconception that these games they would put in a place and then it would just stay there for 10 years or whatever. That's not usually how it happened. They would put a game out on location and then they'd leave it there for maybe a month and then they'd move it to another location whenever it got a little older. And so, you know, you might put all of the brand new games in the, the bowling alley because it's making you the most money. And then after uh, the games got a little bit older, you would move it to over to the skating rink. So maybe the skating rink got the B quality stuff, the stuff that had been out a little bit longer. But anyway, the games, and they also got moved whenever they were uh, working on them or whatever. So the games got moved around a lot and uh, they'd get caught out in the rain sometimes. So a lot of games would get water damaged from that. Or another way is people would... Uh, like you put it in a gas station or something or a laundromat and people would mop the floor and they'd run the mop up against the game mopping the floor and get the bottom of the cabinet all wet so this one's a little damaged down there but it's not that bad because the cabinet's plywood plywood whenever it gets wet sometimes it'll separate a little bit but it doesn't usually just crumble apart if you get particle board wet it'll just start turning into sawdust basically so so it's in pretty nice shape because Williams had the decency for us people that are messing with these things 30 years later to make the cabinet out of plywood another famous plywood cabinet is miss pac-man like that one over there that's another video though so this is stargate also known as incredibly hard this is like one of the hardest games ever just ridiculously hard defender as well i just can't play either one of them i'm gonna play it here in a second but it won't be that great Here's the art though, we'll check it out. Stargate Williams Electronics, copyright 1981, trademark. And then again, Williams, and there's a little registered thing there. So there's the marquee, looking good. We put a, uh, one of the things we did to it is we put a new uh, control panel overlay on it. We got this from Arcade Shop where we get a lot of our stuff. It's in really nice shape. It, uh, the original control panel overlay was shiny like this. Sometimes you'll see people with one that's like a dull or a matte finish like a, a traditional overlay is on a lot of games. But on Stargate it was this almost patent leather looking <laughs> shiny overlay that looks great. Um, and so the difference between Defender and Stargate, or one of the differences, is they added this Inviso button here that's not on Defender. But we thought this was a, it came out pretty good and we thought it'd be a cool video to shoot a video of. Just a neat quality cabinet and a real classic. These had two doors, the top one of course the quarters go in and then it falls into a tray in the bottom down there. Alright, let's read the instructions. Stargate. Bloop. Insert coins for credits, one credit per player for a standard fleet 
or two credits per player for a reinforced fleet. We were wondering earlier why we've got so many men whenever we play it. It's because it's taking two credits away every time we play the game, so it's giving us like a reinforced fleet where you get extra men. Uh, maneuver ship up and down. So the joystick only goes up and down. It doesn't go left and right. Uh, control speed and direction. So if you want to go left and right, you hit this reverse button, which turns your ship around. And then you move by holding the thrust button down. So you don't just move left and right with the joystick, you have to hit thrust. And it goes whichever direction you're facing. Blast enemy ships using the fire button. Pretty self-explanatory. Fire. Hold reverse button down for additional instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Stargate Secrets Warp. Rescue four humanoids and carry them into the Stargate Warp. It's not allowed after wave 10. Flying backwards into the Stargate inhibits the warp. Inviso. Activate Inviso antimatter cloaking device to disappear and destroy everything in your path. Red line below smart bomb display shows Inviso time left. Stargate. Transports players to humanoids being reduced. Transports player to humanoids being reduced. Oh, okay. That's cool. Otherwise, transports player to opposite side of the planet. Humanoid. Planet explodes when all the humanoids are lost. Humanoids restored after e every fifth wave. Smart bomb. Destroys all enemies on screen. Extra ship. Smart bomb. Inviso time awarded every 10,000 points. So there you go. That's a few secrets for you. That's probably not going to help me much. <laughs> We're going to try it anyways, but it's going to take my lunch money, believe me. Press one player or two player start. One credit is a quarter. Williams Electronics Incorporated. What a cool game, though. Awesome. 1981 is calling. One of the most interesting things about Defender and Stargate is the unique controls. Again, you can only go up and down with the joystick, and then you play this with your thumb while you're doing it. And then your other hand has to be over here controlling all this. And then if things get hectic where you're about to die, you got to come over here and slap the hyperspace button. So it was a neat game that you used both hands for the whole time and actually used a lot of your fingers for too. A lot of games that have unique controls like that didn't, weren't really that successful, but uh, Defender and Stargate were probably the most successful game with strange controls. So there you go. All right, I'll set up the tripod, and we'll play through it a little bit. See you in a second. All right, folks, we're going to attempt to play Stargate, one of the toughest games of all time. Now, if you guys have been watching any of our videos, you know that I'm not a very good uh, uh, at playing arcade games, even though I like working on them, and I like selling them, and I really appreciate them. I'm not very good at them. So what you've got here is someone who's not very good at playing video games, playing probably the toughest video game of all time. With maybe the exception, or the toughest arcade game of all time. We'll just say it that way. So, uh, oh. here's the instructions, or secrets actually. Warp. Rescue four humanoids and carry them into the Stargate. Warp is not allowed after wave 10. Flying backwards into Stargate inhibits warp. Invisio. Activate Inviso antimatter cloaking device to disappear and destroy everything in your path. Red line below the smart bomb display shows how much Invisio time you have. Invisio time you have left. Stargate. It transports player to humanoids being reducted. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Abducted. That's pretty cool. Otherwise, transports player to opposite side of the planet. Humanoids. Planet explodes when all the humanoids lost. Uh, when all of your humanoids are lost. The humanoids uh, restored after every fifth wave. Smart Bomb destroys all enemies on screen. An interesting thing, too, is this is a Williams game, and you know in uh, Robotron they talked about the humanoids all the time. So basically you're trying to save your little guys at the bottom uh, from getting, getting abducted by the aliens. By blowing up all of the bad guys. Oh, and they got me. This game, though, if you watch real pro players, they die a lot. It's just they do so well with the points that they end up, uh, that they end up, 
that they end up getting a lot of extra men, which makes up for all of the times that they die. You get an extra men every, I think, every 10,000 points. And you've got radar at the top that tells you if anybody's getting close to your, uh, your humanoids. Like that one. Look at him. I don't know. The way I like spin around like that, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... Here we go again. This is going to be one of those where I film playing several games because, uh... I don't know if I should be shooting everything or just the green guys. Let's try shooting everything. Just took my quarter again. I used to work with a guy who ran an arcade back in the 80s at a bowling alley, and he said that uh, whenever Defender came out, the first week in that bowling alley, of course, this is Stargate, which is the sequel to Defender, but it's you know equally as tough. Oops, I shot my my, my humanoid. He said the first week Defender came out, they made $800 in quarters out of that one game. Because it's just so tough. And since it was new, nobody knew how to play it, you know. It was so, so tough, but yet fun. That, uh... They made a ton of money off of it. Wow. I guess I should let off the thrust every once in a while. Hey, I beat the first board. What in the world? I don't really want to fly into that Stargate because I don't know where it's going to take me. I think if I got better at... at uh, hitting the buttons. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Alright, I'm going to answer the phone and then I'll be right back through the magic of YouTube. You won't even know I'm gone. Alright. Made it back. It wasn't even that important. So we'll play it a little bit more. I don't think that'll work though. I don't I don't think you can just stay in one place. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a set number of bad guys. Uh oh, looks like they're trying to get my humanoids. That one, I already got, oh, I already got a bunch, ah, I waited too long. They're killing all my peoples. Maybe I should do a smart bomb. <laughs> I guess it would be smarter if I was actually shooting. This game is just, there's so much going on, it's hard to figure out. You gotta think about a bunch of stuff, and... Stuff's tough, folks. You bastard. Look at him. 
He did, I shot at him a hundred times and he still got the guy. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that. Whatever you're just beginning like this, I haven't played Stargate much. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I just don't uh, understand because they. I'm sure they changed some things from Defender, so it's not it's not just the straight up sequel to Defender. There's like the Stargate. I'm sure you can't just ignore it. You probably have to use it, or they wouldn't have put it in the game. Well, that guy looks that guy looks vicious. All right, finished the first board. Yay, what an achievement. Boom. Yeah, flying left's probably not a smart idea. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. One last game, folks. I don't want to bore you too much because, uh, believe me, I could play this all weekend and it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be anywhere near as good as some of the videos you can see of people playing it here on YouTube. Oh, he was getting my guy. I guess once you save them and get them off the, your guys, I guess you should just haul ass to the next one. That's a little easier for me that time. You think I'll ever get to where I could actually beat two levels? You should be shooting the whole time because you can't really well if you shoot the whole time though you might shoot your uh, your humanoid so maybe that's not a great idea well you know they say folks practice makes perfect so I probably need to spend a couple more uh, a couple more weeks playing this and maybe I'll get to where I can beat the second board but I'm not a I'm not filming this just to show off. I'm, I'm filming it just to remind people what the game was like. And uh, so what I'm specifically reminding you of uh, tonight is uh, how it took your quarter the very first time you played it. So there you go. This is William's famous Stargate, the sequel to Defender. Up and running, working great again. I guess if great is defined by stealing your lunch money. I always like this game though because it's so colorful and everything. It's just pretty, pretty sweet. But I was never good at it. Anyway, by the time you see this video, Mr. Stargate may have flown onto another home, so we may not even have it available for sale right now. Whenever you're watching this, but what you can do is you can check out our website, lionsarcade.com. Uh, we've got pictures and descriptions and prices of every game we have available for sale right now in our showroom on our website so check it out or you can stop by and visit us we're in downtown rock hill south carolina which is about 15 minutes south of charlotte north carolina and uh we've got uh, an entire showroom here full of games pretty much at all times um, so stop in and check out the selection if you'd like or check out our website or if you're not in the market for an arcade game you don't want to buy one or if you're not even local to us maybe you're watching this in germany well hello germany uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and uh, we will be putting up plenty more videos. Every time we get something cool in, we'll film a little video. So we will see you next video.